welcome to the next module of relief. In this particular module, which is uh, as the name implies that uh, we will discuss about the relief scenario. Now have a look that what we had studied in the previous module, we had a discussion about the concept of relief, what is the different uh, subsets of this relief. Uh, we had a discussion about the location of relief system to be employed. And the previous module we have discussed the various type of relief system applicable in the chemical process industry. Now in this particular module, we are going to discuss about the introduction to relief scenario, what kind of different scenario are there, how we can handle all those things. So we will discuss about uh, these relief scenario in this particular module. We will have a definition of overpressure scenario as an example. How to acquire the data for various relief sizing? This is again a very core issue which we are going to discuss in this particular module. How we can control the scenario that is the controlling scenario aspect we are going to discuss. We will understand about the relief sizing through uh, example. We will have a couple of example in this uh, particular module and a subsequent module. So, we will discuss about all those things in this particular module. Now, uh, first thing is that what is a relief scenario? We must know because be before we address this uh, particular problem. So, the standard definition of relief scenario is a description of one specific relief event. Uh, now, usually each relief event or each relief has more than one relief event and the worst case scenario is the scenario or event that requires the largest relief vent area. So, this is the standard uh, definition of a relief scenario. Now, the worst case is because we will frequently use this uh, worst case terminology uh, and in the previous uh, um, uh, definition we have already discussed the worst case scenario. So, the worst cases are a subset of overall developed scenario for each relief. So, you must remember this particular line in subsequent study. Now, question arises that uh, how to define the overpressure scenario. So, for each set of process equipment, there can be multiple scenario which may result in uh, various kind of uh, overpressure and sometimes because of the process requirement, sometimes because of the certain the failures, uh, there may be a scenario of overpressure. So, a complete uh, P and ID diagram is essential tool for identification of these uh, potential scenario. It provides you a very helpful tool. Now, evaluation of uh, relief scenario must be performed exhaustively uh, for various mode of operation rather than the normal operation of startup and shutdown. So, the proper knowledge of P and ID diagram is extremely important while you are evaluating the relief scenario. So, after determining the potential scenario, the next step is to uh, determine the credible scenario. Now, uh, uh, a scenario that uh, involves uh, a single failure is called the credible scenario. So, we are, while we are considering different subsets, this particular uh, credible scenario gives a very good impetus to the analysis. Now, a scenario having multiple independent failure are typically not considered for sizing of uh, individual relief device. So, therefore, the credibility is also the function of uh, probability and consequences. Now, uh, we can do the risk assessment uh, through uh, various modes. One is the layer of protection analysis and sometimes it is referred as LOPA. Then we may have a hazard and operability analysis referred as a HAZOP. We may have a fault tree analysis sometimes referred as a FTA. Then we may have a failure mode and effective analysis FMEA. Now, it is possible that uh, no cause for overpressure can be identified for a particular piece of equipment installed in a given process. So, um, ASME Boiler, American Society for Mechanical Engineers, so they have developed the various codes. So, ASME Boiler and Pressure Vessel Code Section 8 suggests that all pressure vessels, 
all pressure vessels to have relief valve installed regardless of whether there are there are any credible over pressure scenario or not. So, it is mandatory for all boiler and that is why in Indian context we are having the separate boiler certification code. Now, next aspect is that acquiring data for various relief device sizing. So, acquiring a data needed uh, to determine the required relief flow rate and a required relief area for each scenario. So, we have developed the scenario, then we must know or we must acquire the relevant data for devising for relief device sizing. Now, there are couple of examples like scenario 1 is the control uh, wall failure. Now, for this the data required that is the flow coefficient, upstream pressure, etcetera. So, once you determine all these things, then the flow rate calculation. So, if over pressure is caused by a centrifugal pump, just for the sake of an example, then again the data required is the pump curve, impeller size or other classification or statistical data for that centrifugal pump. Then you need to require the calculation, perform the calculation of relief area. And once you are intended to um, go for this one, then the data required are heat capacity, what is the heat capacity of the fluid in question, then the density, the vapor pressure, the heat of vaporization, so various thermo or other thermodynamic data. Then we may have to look into the single phase or a two phase flow. Now, it is very essential to determine whether the material entering to the relief device is uh, under the single phase or a two phase operation or it is a single phase or a two phase fluid. Now, chances for getting two phase fluid increases when there is a chemical reaction involved or something is going on which is in the intermediate phase. There may be chances of fire exposure, superficial uh, uh, velocity in the narrow diameter vessel, then there may be chances of phase transformation. Then the foamy materials surfactant containing materials and highly viscous material they are more likely to have two phase flow. Then we have to discuss about the controlling scenario. Remember whenever we are having uh, the larger area then the controlling scenario coming to the picture. So, in case of two phase flow fluid vapor phase scenario is generally controlling rather than liquid phase scenario even if liquid have higher uh, flow rate than the vapor one. Now, uh, let us have a, a couple of example for the relief event. Now, uh, a pump is dead headed, the pump relief uh, is sized to handle the full pump capacity at its rated pressure. Now, the same pump relief is in line uh, with the nitrogen regulator, the relief size to handle the nitrogen if the regulator fail. So, this is uh, one of the example. Now, if the same pump is connected to the heat exchanger with the live steam, the relief uh, is sized to handle steam injected into the exchanger under uncontrolled condition. So, you can analyze all these three things when the pump is same, but the media is different. So, if uh, the steam regulator failure, then this is a list of uh, scenario of one specific relief. Now, remember the relief is same, the pump is same but the media is different. Another is uh, uh, the polymerization reactor uh, with the, uh, safety relief. So now, here you are having a, a polymerization reactor with the monomer the quantity is given that how much the flow rate, this is a valve. Now, steam injection, the cooling water out, the cooling water in. So, you are having 1, 2, 3, 4 different media, there is an steam trap. Here, uh, the nitrogen purging is given to it and this particular reactor is uh, operating under vacuum. So, the cooling water outlet is uh, um, this one. So, and this one is the cooling water in. So, it is quite simple, you are having one polymerization reactor with the monomer uh, specified quantity of the monomer. This is the steam heated. Uh, with the, the the cooling water as a cooling media, obviously 
we are, we are assuming that this is an exothermic reaction. It is equipped with the different pumps and steam traps. Now, this is the relief scenario for this uh, particular polymerization reactor. Now, if you uh, go for this uh, particular reactor, this is the PSV 1A and PSV 1B. V. These are the safety valves, different safety valves. Now, vessel full of liquid and pump P1 is accidentally actuated. This may be one scenario. Sometimes it may happen that the cooling coil is broken and water enters at around uh, this particular specific quantity and uh, this particular pressure. Sometimes it may happen that uh, the nitrogen regulator, this one, the nitrogen regulator fails giving the critical flow through one in line. Sometimes it may ha happen that the loss of cooling because we are having two cooling jackets, two, two cooling devices. So, sometimes it may happen that the loss of uh, cooling during the reaction, then it may proceed towards the runaway reaction. Another uh, scenario, the relief identification is the PSV2. Now, valve 1, valve 1 is accidentally closed. Now, the system needs relief for this particular quantity at this one, because uh, this is operating requirement. Then another scenario that uh, confined water line is heated with 125 psig steam here you can see this is valve 1. Another PSV 4 is that nitrogen regulator fails giving the critical flow through 0.5 inch line this one. Now, uh, the other reactor 1 scenario will be uh, relieved via this uh, PSV 1. Another scenario is the PSV 5 that water blocked inside the coil sorry this is these are the coils. So, water blocked inside the coil and heat of reaction causes the thermal expansion. So, these are the various relief scenario. Now, in this table only 3 relief have the multiple scenario. Now, you can see the three reliefs have the multiple scenario that require the comparative calculation to establish the worst case. The other three reliefs have only a single scenario, therefore, they are uh, again the worst case scenario. So, while we consider uh, the relief sizing, uh, calculation using the engineering assumptions are usually not accepted because we are having a practical scenario. So, the manual provided usually by American Petroleum Institute API uh, recommended the practice for sizing, the selection and installation of various pressure relieving system in various refineries. So, we have given one reference for this API part 1 and which is widely used for sizing relief devices in various chemical process industries. Remember refineries they are working under the, the extreme conditions. Now, a special deflagration or uh, sometimes referred to as a subsonic combustion, this deflagration tools they are utilized for acquiring data of uh, relief sizing. Now, next thing is that uh, the calculation of uh, runaway reaction. So, usually runaway reactions uh, results in two phase flow, the collection of special data regarding runaway reactions are also required. So, the quality and the, the scope of these data depends on what kind of process you are using. Now, various calorimetric tools uh, used for characterization of runaway reaction. Now, these are like uh, automatic uh, pressure tracking adiabatic calorimeter APTAC. Now, reactive uh, system screening tool RSST, accelerating rate calorimeter ARC vent size package VSP. Now, there are several working principles involved in this sizing. Now, one is the heating mode that is the fixed incremental heating at a specified uh, specific temperature that is the stepwise procedure. So, um, uh, the initiation of uh, exothermic reaction is observed in each incremented temperature. This is for the data collection. Now, if no reaction is initiated, then the temperature is increased to the next step. So, this is the heating mode methodology. 
sometimes you may have a fixed temperature rate. So, the calorimeter observes the higher rate then identifies the initiation of exothermic reaction. So, for all for nearly all type of uh, listed calorimeters in the mode of operation is almost similar. Now, uh, the result obtained under this uh, the maximum self heat rate you may have to discuss the maximum pressure rate, the reaction onset temperature and the temperature pressure relation uh, uh, usually as a function of uh, time. So, whenever we perform the sizing of uh, uh, liquid relief, uh, we are required a various set of data like the volumetric discharge flow rate through the relief device that depends on the opening of uh, the relief device, what is uh, uh, the set pressure of uh, that relief device, um, what is the due consideration of uh, the over pressure in question or over pressure in the process. And we need to consider the, the back pressure especially for BB valves. So, while performing the calculation uh, for sizing of liquid relief, uh, we have already discussed in the previous lecture of various source model of liquid through different uh, openings or holes or orifice. The similar calculations uh, have been performed for relief sizing of liquid. So, the basic formula is almost same. Now, here we have the average discharge velocity that is bar u is equal to k naught uh, square root of um, 2 g c p g upon rho and the mass flow rate uh, which we have already discussed in the separate modules earlier that is the q m is equal to rho bar u a is equal to a k naught uh, square root of 2 g c p g upon rho. So, the discharge area you can calculate by uh, calculating the average velocity, it is a normal fluid dynamics phenomena, the average velocity and substituting it to the mass flow rate equation. Now, this k naught is the discharge coefficient uh, for the preliminary sizing, this can be assumed to um, be at 0 0.65. So, adjustment for the back pressure and velocity co uh, correction can be done by replacing k naught uh, with k where k is equal to k naught k w k v. So, all in the multiplication factor where k w is the correction factor for back pressure and k v is a correction factor for viscosity. So, k v is equal to 1 if uh, your Reynolds number is greater than 16000. Now, this, uh, uh, this plot shows the back pressure correction factor relation. Now, here in the x axis we are having the back pressure correction factor that is k w and here the percentage gauge back pressure that is p g in percentage. So, you can calculate and you can have a look while you require the back pressure correction factor over this particular equation. Now, another is uh, the viscosity uh, correction factor relationship. Here, this uh, particular standard curve is uh, with respect to the Reynolds number and uh, viscosity correction factor kv. So, here in the x axis we are having the Reynolds number and here at the y axis we are having the viscosity correction factor. So, while calculating the or why if you wish to have the uh, viscosity correction factor k v, then you can calculate provided that you are having the knowledge of uh, Reynolds number. Then we can go for the sizing of uh, for gas relief. So, this is for the conventional spring operated relief valve in gas or a vapor service. So, choke flow through orifice is assumed which can be determined by this equation. Remember, we have already discussed this choke flow in the previous modules. Now, this is defined as W is equal to k d a p 1 square root of gamma g c m upon r g t into 2 upon gamma plus 1 to the power gamma plus 1 upon gamma minus 1. Now, here W this W is the mass flow rate uh, having the unit of mass per time. P 1 this P 1 is the upstream relieving pressure, gamma is the heat capacity ratio, 
R g is the ideal gas constant, T is the absolute temperature and M is the molecular mass of gas. So, these are the standard uh, uh, denotions of uh, this particular formula. Now, for simplification uh, that we can introduce the term C. Now, C is equal to square root of gamma G C R G into 2 upon gamma plus 1 to the power gamma plus 1 upon gamma minus 1. So, uh, area A can be calculated uh, as uh, I mean by introducing the compressibility factor Z in the preceding equation which uh, we are using here and Z is the compressibility factor, it is well known phenomena of uh, chemical engineering thermodynamics. So, K D and K B are the correction factor for discharge and back pressure respectively. So, A can be calculated by this particular equation, A is equal to W upon C, K D P 1, K B and square root of T into Z upon M. So, conventionally uh, we can calculate C by this particular equation by substituting the various values in the previous equation. Now, C is equal to 519.6 into square root of gamma 2 upon gamma plus 1 to, to the gamma plus 1 upon gamma minus 1. We have to note that for using this formula, the unit of W is in the pounds upon hour and P in PSIA and T is in the Rankine and m is in the pounds per pound mole, they must be put correctly and everywhere while uh, having such calculation, the consistency of the unit must be remembered. So, uh, p choked is equal to uh, 0 0.528 uh, into p and uh, p in psi is equal to p maximum in psig plus 14.7. So, this type of consistency must be remembered always. So, P maximum is equal to 1.1 uh, PS for unfired pressure vessel, P maximum is equal to 1.2 PS for the vessel exposed to fire and P maximum is equal to 1.33 PS for piping. So, these are the three uh, different uh, scenario. Then we must have a relationship of uh, KB for spring operated and BB valves. So, here we are having two different plots for the PB and KB. Now, PB is the percentage absolute back pressure is equal to back pressure in absolute divided by set pressure plus over pressure in absolute multiplied by 100 and the KB is the capacity with the back pressure divided by rated capacity without back pressure. So, once you are having this uh, gamma, then you can or you are having the knowledge of this P B, then you can easily calculate the K B. Similarly, for this particular aspect, when we are considering the over pressure, then like 20 percent, 10 percent over pressure, then again the K B can be calculated with the help of P G, that is P G is equal to percentage gauge back pressure equal to gauge back pressure gauge divided by set pressure into 100. So, if you are having these two uh, things, you can easily calculate either K B maybe with respect to over pressure or if you are having the knowledge of gamma. So, in this particular aspect, we have discussed the various relief, uh, relief sizing and for the further study, you can always uh, feel free to look into the various uh, references which are enlisted in this uh, particular module. Thank you very much.